sitting here under my, my little tarp. Uh, that's my tent behind me in my home. Um, here, just a second. Let me turn you around so you can see it. So as you can probably hear, you can't really see it on camera, but it's it's raining. Yeah, there's the bike, got it covered up. I cooked me a little lunch. Uh, made me a little macaroni and cheese, a little, a little comfort food on this rainy day. It's supposed to be raining. See, it's raining. I'm not faking it. It's supposed to be raining for three days. Today, tomorrow, and Thursday. This is Tuesday. So it's supposed to rain three days solid, not quit. I hope I picked a good spot as far as drainage. I hope this don't flood on me. We're going to find out, I guess. But anyway, that's what I'm doing today. And that's probably what I'll be doing tomorrow and the next day. Just hang out here and wait out to rain. So anyway, that's about all I can tell you. So I'll see you in a couple yeah, of days. I want to show you something real quick. I thought I'd catch some rainwater. Because uh, I'm going to be here about three days. It's supposed to rain for three days. So I want to conserve my, my water source. You know, my jugs of water. But anyway, I thought I'd catch some rainwater. Just to... You know clean my hands with do my dishes you know stuff like that and look at this tell me there's not pollution in the air maybe it's just here i don't know i didn't get that out of a mud puddle or I, I caught it running off my tarp now some of that possibly could be because of the tarp i don't know but <laughs> come on guys that looks like lemonade i'm not using that stuff it's horrible. Anyway, I just want to show it to you. It, it just kind of blew me away uh, how, how dirty that water is. Finally made it out of the jungle. Uh, after three days of rain. I'm here at McDonald's charging. Gonna charging up and uh, getting me something to eat. See the bike right there? There's the bike. I'm gonna start and charge up and then we're gonna get on the road. And, Right, after stopping for the rain, the sun has come back out. I've got everything dried. Tarp's dry. My rain gear's dry. The only problem is, looks like there's some more coming on the horizon. So I'm gonna hang out here just for a minute, see what happens. And if it don't start raining, then I'll take off. All right, everyone, uh, stop to take a break. Don't know exactly where I am. Uh, I am. However you say that, when a when a when a something, Florida. But I, I where is my guess? I went uh, 89 miles. I need to break, so I just went and got gas. Put 1.477 gallons in. Price two dollars seventy nine cents. Cost me four dollars and twelve cents to go eighty something miles. So not bad, not bad. I, I won't argue with them gas prices. But on a motorcycle, it's you know even at three seventy, it's not that bad. I mean, obviously cheaper is better, but we like to working on a motel here. But anyway, yeah, just want to check in with you. I'm headed towards Vero Beach. I'll probably more than likely. Stay in Orlando tonight. I'm cutting through the middle of Florida. What is that? Oh. Distracted again. Forgive me. Something laying on the ground. This piece of paper. I thought it was money. But anywho. Yeah. Stretch my legs here a minute. Let the old bike have a rest. And we're going to get back on the road. Uh, I'll see you wherever I stop right. tonight. I think the last clip you saw, I was at McDonald's. I don't remember what town, but... Uh, checking the weather uh, using the Wi-Fi the weather said everything was going to be perfect and great jump on your bike and go so that's what I did I'm watching for gators behind me there's a huge swamp uh, so yeah that's what I did I jumped on the bike took off and it wasn't probably 25 miles down the road maybe I don't know maybe 30 I hit some driving pouring rain. I mean, just 
drenched me. So I put my, well, rain gear, I got my jacket on right now because it, it's not raining now. It's just where I'm at, the dew is so heavy. Uh, everything's got moisture on it, it feels wet. But uh, yeah, anyway, I rode in the rain for a little while. When I say a little while, about three or four miles, and people was acting stupid. You know, pulling out in front of me, jamming on the brakes in front of me, and flying by me and slinging water on me. I just got mad, so I pulled over, put my rain suit on, and I'm glad I did because it probably wouldn't. Half mile down the road, it just the gates opened up, man. It started flooding. So I rode probably, I don't know, another 15 minutes. I said, now nah, you know, this ain't worth it. So I pulled over. I don't even know what it was. Some kind of dock, like a big pond with a dock and walking trail around it. I don't know. It had the canopy, so I just pulled in there. Uh, decided to wait to rain out. I just, I didn't know what I was going to do. If I was going to stay there in camp or if I was going to continue on or what. I figured I'd just wait a little while and see what happens. Well, I mean, it wasn't 30 minutes. Guys cleared off, turned blue and sunny, but I could see the dark clouds all around me. So I sat there about an hour, hour to see what would happen. Nothing happened, so I jumped on the bike and took off. So now I'm further south. Uh, I'm not going to say where I am just yet because I don't know how long I'm going to be here. I don't never give the location of the area I'm in. It's just, you know, it's not safe to do that. But anyway, I'm further south. And... As of right now, I see nothing but stars in the sky. It's warm. Uh, the air feels a little chilly because the dew's really heavy tonight. And I didn't get down here too late, so that's something else. I didn't get down here at about 7.30 tonight, 8 o'clock, something like that. So I didn't get a chance to, to look for a camp. Uh, so I don't I guess I'll be sleeping in the parking lot tonight. I don't know. I'm at a truck stop. Here, let me turn you around. So I'm at this truck stop. And the reason I came to the truck stop because they've always got woods around them. And this one's got woods. The only thing is, it's all flooded. That's water. That's not actual trees you're seeing. That's reflection of the trees up here reflecting on the water. So that killed that idea about camping in the woods behind the truck stop. I don't know really what I'm going to do tonight, to be honest with you, folks. I'm not getting a motel. I'm not spending $70, $80 for, you know, four hours. Although it would be nice. Charge up, uh, get a shower and all that. I mean, it would be awesome. But I'm not going to do it. I don't know what to do. It looks like... Right here is going to be home. It's only 10.30, so I mean, you know, it's going to be a long night. Everything's wet with dew. Uh, yeah, I ain't decided what I'm going to do. I've got on the old Google machine and looked around for some spots. You know, my typical ones I go to, like Lowe's and Walmart and all that. But in this town I'm in, um, they don't even have no woods around them. I got distracted by somebody's alarm going off. Now, some of you that's been with me a long time, has been channel subscribers for a long time. Oh, speaking of which, uh, I want to thank a uh, subscriber, Guy. Uh, I'm not going to give his last name because I don't know if he would get care or not. But, uh, yeah, he bought me some bratwurst. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing tomorrow. I'm definitely doing it tomorrow. I'm going to Walmart and getting me some bratwurst after more than likely I'm going to be sleeping in this parking lot on the ground. So, definitely going to go get me some tomorrow. And I appreciate it. Uh, the time you see this, that was probably two weeks ago when he did that. But, uh, yeah, in real time, it, this is only the next day. So, I'm definitely going to get some. But anyway, anyway, I got sidetracked again. Uh, for some of you that's been with me a long time, subscribers, you might recognize this place. 
I don't know. You'll have to. I don't even know if we made a video here. Me and Felicia stayed here. And we stayed here about a week. Maybe two weeks now. It's probably like two weeks, I think. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think if we made a video here or not. But anyway, back there in them woods, well, we was parked in that back row with our, well, her van and my little Winnebago camper. But right behind them woods uh, is a place that made, we had a seasonal job we went to. They make like fruit baskets and stuff like that for the holidays. And yeah, that job turned out to be, well, yeah, <laughs> we didn't stay. Uh, mainly, she probably, she's tough. She probably would have stayed, stuck it out. I just, it was kind of a joke. I said, I'm out. Um, but anyway, that's a whole different story. But yeah, if, if you've been with me at least a couple years, you might recognize this place. But anyway, I don't got sidetracked. Don't even remember what the original conversation was about, other than me sleeping in the parking lot. But yeah. Um, I kind of did this to myself. Well, hang on a second. I kind of did it to myself by pushing out, you know, pushing down here so late in the day and not giving myself enough time to find a spot so that's my own fault but I had to make a decision because where I was at and I think it's this video you might see it I don't I can't keep track guys I'm sorry I just can't keep track but I spent pretty much a week in the same spot stuck in the tent and it's rained every single day and then going from yesterday back three days it rained non-stop for three days straight that's the reason everything's flooded down here so I had to make a decision they was calling in that area I was in and they was calling for more rain and there was a little break in the weather so I jumped on the bike and took off uh, yeah I just couldn't do it no more so come down here it's not supposed to be raining here I think next week there's a small chance one day but uh, you know it's a decision I had to make stay stuck up there up, you know, a little bit further north or stay stuck in that rain and be stuck in a tent all day for however many more days or ride down here late in the afternoon and, and hope I can find something so that's where I'm at anyway I think this is going to be a short video because they're just they haven't done anything haven't done nothing and tomorrow it's pretty much just going to be. Hmm, saw something out of corner of my. It's pretty much just going to be riding around trying to find a camp. I don't I'm really not going to do no sightseeing or nothing tomorrow. Uh, if I have time, I will. But and I'm back on the beach. The beach ain't about three miles away. So number one priority tomorrow is to find a place to camp. So I think that's going to do it. We're just going to make this a short. Uh, Nothing, nothing exciting, nothing special happened, but that's life on the road. Uh, it ain't always peaches and flowers and butterflies flying around. It's sometimes it's just it is what it is. So anyway, I appreciate y'all hanging around. I, I want to say hello to all my new subscribers. Uh, oh yeah, if you're still watching this, I want to say something. I think it's the last video or video for last I don't remember exactly I put a in the little intro I said something about a donation link and that's where a guy bought my bratwurst appreciate that again uh, I caught a lot of, a lot of static over that a lot of people got mad at me for that but hey man it's it's expensive out here this this I don't make no money on YouTube and these trips are not cheap uh, anywhere I can save a penny, anywhere I can get a little help, is, is, it takes it all, folks. I mean, yeah, if you're rich, super easy to do it, but I'm not rich, so. But anyway, yeah, I caught a bunch of grief over that. I uh, got some emails, everybody tell me, you know, how bad of a person I am for doing that, and blah, blah, blah. So, I just wanted to say to all my followers and all my subscribers, and future subscribers I just want to do the right thing and say if you'd like to help this channel donation link down in the description box below so 
yeah and also my emails down there if you'd like to contact me personally my email is also in there and i believe that's it say hello to all my new subscribers my family and friends and uh, that should be it until i see you next time god bless you